Lego Movie the Video Game, or I guess the Lego Movie Video Game? Level 2, so this is going to be a walkthrough for this particular level, and it starts off with Emmett kind of in a pickle, but not before Wild Style can come and save him. And there is a lot of talking between the characters that you do miss if you are not watching uh, my video, so I would just recommend playing the game if you really want to hear that because it is hilarious, it is great. I have to talk over the videos for uh, YouTube purposes, but you know, there's not really anything I could do about that at this point. I may, I probably wouldn't even bother, but you know, uh, what can you do? So, the thing you're going to be learning here, which is a little bit different from the other LEGO games, is that you have two kinds of people. You have people who are not master builders, and you have people who are master builders, and it seems kind of a crude term, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know, I, I wonder if that's on purpose, or if they actually thought that it would just be master builder. I don't know, it doesn't matter, but... Anyway, uh, Wild Style is one of these builders, and you need to use her to build anything that you don't have instructions for. So in any other LEGO game where you build any number of things, uh, that is what you would use Wild Style and other masters for, while uh, Emmett really can't build a whole lot, and there are a few people that you'll be playing as who can't really do much. One thing you will want to remember uh, Emmett's usefulness for is his drill, and you'll just want to drill this first pillar down on the left side of the room after you take out that golden door, and of course the first, um, the first instruction page is inside that room, and then you'll want to use Wild Style to work your way on up here by jumping. Now you don't always have to kill every enemy that you run into because you're invincible while you do a lot of things, but there's also a lot of things that you're not invincible while doing, so if you build, you are invincible, so you don't have to kill the enemies for that, and if you are doing a couple of the other abilities, which I'll talk about when we get there, you may or may not be invincible while you, you do them, so sometimes it's easiest just to kill all the enemies. And they can be really annoying too with their weird baton that they spin. It's just like... God, because they stun you and then it hits you again and you can't retaliate, then it stuns you. And when they shoot you, that's really annoying. It's just, it's bad. It, <laughs> these enemies are really infuriating sometimes, but they're not really too hard to take care of. So once you get up here with Emmett, which you want to get rid of that weird block that was stopping him from being able to make the jump up here, you're going to want to drill your way through the ceiling. And then you can get the second instruction page. Uh, thank you, sir. And when in doubt, as with any LEGO game, all you need to do is destroy every item that you see. And if you're stuck, destroy everything and you'll be able to uh, continue on, usually. So right here you can see where, or at least you saw where Emmett couldn't actually put the stupid thing together. Even though it did look almost exactly like what it's going to end up looking like, he is not a master so he couldn't put it together and you have to wait for all the pieces to hop on over to the right there so you can actually uh, build them again. But before you do that you're also going to want to push that button so that uh, so that platform or the, or the wall opens up and then you'll be able to cut out that wall and get the final build piece. So there are a few long levels in this game. There's not many of them. There's probably only four or five out of the 15. And this is actually one of them. This and the first level were pretty lengthy and there's a couple of 20 minute levels later on. But most of them seem to be within the range of 10 to 15 minutes or sometimes even less. The last level and the second to last levels were not that long at all, but it's still a pretty good game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Anyway, once you knock down that uh, window, you're just going to want to jump on up here, get the final piece, and then try to get out. This can be really annoying because there's like a lip and you can't walk over that, and if you jump with wild style, you jump too high to just jump out and instead you hit the ceiling, so it's Kind of weird, but you can get yourself out, and then you need to switch to Emmett and do yet another building instruction sequence. Now these actually are kind of fun. Just follow the sill out or the transparent brick and choose it from the wheel, 
You have to do that once for the first instruction book, twice for the second, and three times for the third. You're not actually timed, even if you hear a dinging when you do this, like a ding ding, then uh, it may sound like you have a timer, but it's just the studs in the top left going down, so you get less of a stud reward if you take longer to do it. But you don't really get that many studs in the first place, so it's not really worth rushing for. And if you absolutely can't figure out a piece, you can just select every single piece on the wheel and eventually you'll get the right one. So then you'll build the ladder and all you have to do is use the crank to pull the ladder up. And this is one thing that is kind of weird for the amount of times that you're going to have to tap or hold a button in this game because sometimes you go up to something and it'll say push X and then you push and hold X but it ends up you having to tap it. Same with B, same with... Uh, any other button they tell you to. I think it's mainly just X and B But it's really weird because you're sitting there and you're like why isn't the meter going up? Oh, I have to tap the button <clears throat> I have to tap the button rather than hold it like you normally do, but it's it's not really that bad I'm kind of sensationalizing that a little bit Anyway, once you are up here, just build this platform over to the left and then use it to jump on up to the top and then you're going to want to use Wild Style because she's the only one who can do this currently to, uh, I guess, monkey swing her way on this part of the platform and come on over here to this net on the wall. None of those bullets can actually hit you, I don't think, so you don't really need to worry about them. Just keep moving and you will be fine. Here there is a golden instruction book, but I didn't bother getting it because that would be for a collectible walkthrough. But if you want to get it, there it is. And for this part, you're going to want to be careful at some upcoming part because you may fall down and have to do that climb all over again. And it's just time consuming if you have to, and I would think it's best to avoid doing unnecessary things. But if you really like climbing with wild style, go ahead and climb all you want. So for here, there's going to be that guy shooting rockets down by Emmett, and you can dodge the first two on these poles with Wild Style, but once you're on here, he'll just shoot you and send you to the pole. So you're going to have to switch, probably die a couple of times, and then eventually switch to Emmett and defeat the rocket guy so Wild Style can actually move on over to the other platform. Now these poles are kind of weird because you like need to swing a full revolution once before you can actually move. For that second pole, magically I didn't have to do that, but usually you have to, so I don't know. It's just, just hold in the direction you want to go and constantly tap A or whatever the button is and you'll move over there eventually. For this part, you don't want to jump where I'm at, or you saw Wild Style is that you don't want to jump on that. Um, when that cutscene starts because then she may just fall off and if she falls off you're gonna have to climb up there all over again so that jump that you saw was because she fell off and I cut out me jumping there or me climbing there all over again <laughs> but once you finally do make it to this machine uh, with this air blower you can repair it with Emmett then you can fly up to this platform and drill through the wall And that'll let you continue on into the level. So now you have broken out of the prison and are in the back streak. Back streak, back street. I said streak because there was that streak of light from Wild Style falling out of the window. That was kind of cool. <laughs> this game is just great. And here's where you meet the first master builder sequence, I'm going to call it. And just for sake of... Uh, tongue twisters, I'm gonna call it the master sequence. So you need to step on the designated circular, circular thingamajig, just whatever that glowing dot is, and you use a master to uh, select three items, and then they will do this really cool mini cutscene and build something that is extremely useful. Now you're gonna have to do it one more time. And to do that, you're going to want to use Emmett. Now, the useful thing about Emmett's uh, drill is that he can actually stun a couple of enemies when he uses it, and that can be useful just for getting people to stop attacking you. But it only works when he's drilling the ground. If you're drilling something like a wall, it won't affect the enemies. They'll come over and hit you and interrupt your sequence, although that time it was affecting him. Huh, okay. Well, I guess sometimes it affects the enemies. Sometimes it doesn't. And luckily, your progress with the drill is not forgotten if you get interrupted. So this is uh, one of the 
items that you're going to need to get. Okay, that's two of them. The third one is going to be up on the left, and there's also these saves that you can use if you are Emmett or anybody else. You just touch the crystal, you can save and continue, and they put those in weird places. Cause sometimes a level is like 15 minutes long, and then uh, they have a save at the last three minutes of the level, so I don't really get the purpose of that. It seems like a save is useful halfway through, not at the last 90% or the last 10%. So, I don't know, but they're there if you need it, I guess, if you need to go and go to the store or whatever, you can just save and come back later. It's a little bit better than having no saves, like most LEGO games. Anyway, once you get that uh, building, that last object from the top, and then you can build it with wild style, you can jump on into this very strange motorcycle. Now this part is a lot of fun, and if you're ever not sure what to do, just listen to Wildstyle or someone else, someone will tell you. For here, you'll want to switch to Emmett and just attack the SWAT car that is in front of you. Also, shoot down the rockets if you can. If you're just firing all the time at him, then you'll probably hit all the rockets. But the fun part is jumping between the vehicles with Wildstyle. And I do it pretty perfectly at this first half of this part, but later on I miss a ton of them for some reason, so I end up dying like 20 times. It's kind of ridiculous, but I think the reason was because I was jumping too early. Which brings me to my next point. If you are doing this, like I just died right there because you're not supposed to jump, just take your time and look around to where you're supposed to go and see what's supposed to happen. Don't rush into it. You might want to because it's a really fast-paced scene and it's, a, it's, re it's kind of exciting, but you'll end up dying a lot more if you uh, do rush. So right there you just need to build the crane and then you can jump onto it with wild style which will magically speed up faster than everything going around it and drop you on this gas tank. And you'll want to shoot that with Emmett. And when that spins out of control with wild style still on it, you're going to have a couple of these police cars show up in front of you in slow motion. So all you have to do is wait for the screen to kind of slow down and then you just spam the fire button and if you hit all four of them I think you either get a pair of pants or you get the uh, you get the golden instruction books I, I'm not sure which Let's see once I hit this one I didn't see what it was ha. My, uh, the left side of my screen, I, I think it showed up on the left side, but that's covered up for me because of my editing software, so whatever it was, you get some collectible for doing that, and it is kind of cool. And eventually, though, uh, Wildstyle will jump off of the exploding gas tank, and then she'll jump onto the net on that truck, and you'll have to deal with a couple more, um, SWAT cars, and this part of the level is actually pretty lengthy, and there's another part similar to this in the next level. But they're, they're just so much fun, and they didn't overdo it, like they didn't have one of these every other level. And I guess in a way that is a little bit disappointing, because these were really great, but it's also not disappointing because then it doesn't get old. So for here, you can just spam the A button and jump quickly from car to car, because it's you're pretty much on a rail there. But once you come up to here, you're going to want to pay a little bit more attention, and this is probably one of the first boss fights. It's not really a boss fight, and there aren't really much of boss fights in this game, but this one does throw a lot of enemies at you, so you're going to want to take out the four SWAT cars first, and then you're going to be able to use uh, Wild Style to shoot the helicopter. And you can actually just switch to Wild Style right away and blow everything up in one hit instead of the many shots it would take with Emmett. 
So once the helicopter turns, shoot the silver object on the back there, that rear propeller, I guess. Or the base of the rear propeller. I don't know a thing about helicopters. <laughs> and then uh, just switch back to wild style if you switch to Emmett, blow up these four more SWAT cars, and then shoot the helicopter one more time, and that'll be enough to take it down. This did not follow the rule of three, which is where you have to hit the enemy three times to defeat it. Instead, it followed the rule of two. I guess it's following the footsteps of Star Wars here. Now after that, Emmett should jump on out, it's not Emmett, uh, Wildstyle should jump out, and then you'll need to shoot the back of that truck so Wildstyle can actually jump over to the other trucks. One thing I also want to mention, as you notice that meter was pretty much full, if you're ever not sure what part of the level that you're at, look at your stud meter, and that can be a pretty good indication of your progress throughout the level. Now it's not perfect because if you didn't collect any studs you could be at the end of the level with your meter completely empty but chances are you're gonna be collecting a lot of studs and if you and like as you go through the level if you're about halfway up with your stud meter you could be around halfway to three-fourths done with the level. Now this part is extremely annoying because it's one of the stupid you have to clip onto the uh, poles things and then you jump onto the truck and fall off and die <laughs> So you can see this is that part I was talking about where I was just not able to keep myself alive because it was Really really weird, but it's not too bad. You, you'll, you'll probably do better than I will and Once you're here, this will be the final sequence You'll just have to take out the SWAT trucks with Emmett and then shoot the cars on the top of the uh, Truck in front of you and that'll be it for this level